excuse me. Anne Lee? Yes, hello. I'm Sarah Taylor. I'm your new local buyer. Pleased to meet you. It's very kind of you to meet me. <clears throat> oh, sorry. This is my husband, Mark. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. How was your flight? Oh, actually, I'm a bit tired. It was a very long flight. Let's get your bags. Mine there, the red one. It's empty. Sorry. Don't worry, Mark. Strong, aren't you, dear? No worries. Come on, let's go to the hotel. Thank you very much for picking me up. You're very welcome. You'll be all right here? Mm, thanks, I'll be fine. And thank you, Mark, for helping with my heavy bag. Oh, don't mention it. All right, then. Nice to meet you finally. I'll ring you tomorrow. Nice to meet you too. Goodbye. Good morning. Would you like to check in? Yes, please. And your name? Anne Lee. Uh, yes. Could you just fill this out, please? How long will you be staying? Two weeks. Are you here on business? Mainly business. Will you need a hire car? No, thank you. And will you need a map of the city? Uh, maybe later. And will you want a newspaper in the morning? No, thank you. Okay. And how will you be paying Ms Lee? Credit card. Thank you. There you go. And here's your key. It's room 309. Enjoy your stay, Ms Lee. Thank you. I hope I will. Hello? Barber's private investigation. John Barber speaking. Hello. Can you find missing people? Sometimes we can. Have you lost somebody? Yes. Perhaps you'd like to tell me about it. Uh, can I make an appointment, please? When would you like to come in? Is tomorrow OK? Uh, l let's see. Uh, yes, I can see you at 10 o'clock. Will that suit you? OK, thank you. Uh, 23 Mitchell Street, is that right? That's right, second floor. OK, see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Hello, reception. What time is it, please? Uh, it's five o'clock. And what time do you serve dinner? The restaurant opens in an hour and dinner is served between 6 and 9 p.m. And breakfast? Breakfast is served between 7 and 9.30 a.m., ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. me? Yes. Could you tell me how to get to Mitchell Street? Yes, you're, you're going the wrong way. You need to go straight along here, past the silver balls, turn left, and that's the second on the right, opposite the town hall. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Excuse 
me? Yes. I'm looking for number 23, Barber's Private Investigator. Over there, next to the trees. Oh, thank you. Good luck. You'll need it. Usual rates. Uh, must go now. Uh, right. Uh, goodbye, uh, Ms. Roberts. Uh, Julia. Bye. Mr. Barber? John, John, uh, private investigator. Uh, you must be uh, Ms. Lee. Uh, please sit down. Now, what can I do for you, Miss Lee? Could you find him for me? Hmm. Hmm. Can you help me? Well, I'll try. Now, tell me about your brother, Ms. Lee. Uh, how old is he? He's 23. Mm -hmm. Well, that would make him your younger brother. Hmm. Uh, what's his name? David. Hmm. And what does he do? He's a student, or he was a student. I don't know where he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how tall is he? About 175 centimetres. Mm -hmm. ah, and does he speak English? Yes, he speaks English and Chinese. Mr Barber, can you find him? I'll certainly try. Now, tell me a little about yourself, Mosley. Where are you from? I come from Singapore. I'm Singaporean. Right, and um, uh, how old are you? I'm 25. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do? I import wine. I'm a businesswoman. I work in my family's business. Mm -hmm. um, are you married? No, I'm single. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Pardon? Oh, sorry. Uh, we private investigators are a naturally curious bunch. Um, Ms. Lee, perhaps you'd better tell the whole story. It all started two years ago. My brother David worked in the family business too, but he didn't like it. He wanted to try something different. Mm -hmm. So what happened? My parents agreed. They let him come to Australia to study. Mm -hmm. uh, where did he go? He came here, to Adelaide. He studied computer science. We thought he was happy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then what happened? I don't know. He wrote every week and then the letters stopped. Hmm. Uh, do you know where he lived? He stayed with an Australian family. He was a boarder. Here's the address. Did you find them? Yes, of course. He left there a year ago. I don't know where he went. Does he have a mobile phone? I don't know. He did, but he doesn't answer it now. Hmm. <laughs> don't worry, Miss Lee. I'll find your brother. smooth. Good flavour too. It sells well in restaurants here. I think these will sell well in Singapore. Mm, the samples you sent me were very popular with our staff. Hmm. You seem to understand our taste in Singapore. Thank you. It's my job to know what my clients like.
So, are you enjoying the city? Mm, it's very nice. What are you going to do tomorrow? I don't know. I'll probably stay in the hotel and relax. Why don't you come to lunch with us at home? Oh, thank you, but you have your family. Yes, and they want to meet you. We're going to have roast chicken, traditional Aussie food. Mm, sounds good. All right, I'll come. Great. What time? We eat at about one o'clock, so about 12.30. I'll show you the house. OK, thank you. I'll get my brother to pick you up. No, that's OK. I'll get a taxi. All right, then. It's settled. Here we are. How much is that? That will be seventeen fifty. Thanks, love. Keep the change. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Hello, I'm Anne. Mummy. Come in, Anne. What a beautiful house. It's been a lot of work, but we're getting there. This is the bathroom. This is my daughter's bedroom. <laughs> and here's the kitchen. Anne's here. Uh, you've met my daughter Louise. Hello, Louise. I'm helping. Yes, I see. And my husband, Mark. Hello again. Oh, Ooh, sorry about my heavy bag. Just kidding. <laughs> but you haven't met my little brother. This is Steve. I was going to pick you up this morning. You wouldn't let me. I'm sorry. I like to find my own way around. No worries. Maybe another time. Yes, maybe. Come on, let's go outside. So, Anne, have you been to an Australian home before? No, never. It's a beautiful home, Sarah. So big. The rooms are much bigger than at home. There's more space here. Do you live in a house? No, Steve. She lives in an igloo. Actually, no, we live in an apartment. Most people do. Singapore is much busier than Adelaide and more crowded. Yeah, and more exciting. It's so boring here. It's quieter. Some people like that. I don't think it's boring. Adelaide is a very beautiful city. It's a better place to live than anywhere else I've been. But you haven't been anywhere. Mark hates travelling. I love it. I just don't see the point of it. What about you, Steve? Do you like to travel? Yes. Yeah, I've been to Kuala Lumpur and, and to Bali. Bali's great. I've been to the zoo. <laughs> You're lucky. I haven't been to the zoo. I'd love to go to the zoo. I'll take you. I'm sorry about my brother. Oh, not at all. You have a lovely family. Everyone seems so happy. Anne, what's the matter? There's something I haven't told you. Oh, what is it? When I met your brother, I was thinking about my brother, David. I haven't seen him for two years. How come? He's missing. One reason I came to Australia is to find him. I'm so sorry. Have you had any luck? Not yet. I've hired a private investigator. Goodness. Do you think you'll find him? Perhaps. I don't know. It's been a long time since David last called. What do you think's happened to him? Have you any idea? I really don't know. I can't help thinking the worst. 
I'm sure he's all right. If something bad had happened, you would have heard. I guess so. I suppose you're right. Can I help you find your brother? You're very kind. It's not your problem. I want to help. What can I do? Well, maybe you could get some copies made of this photograph. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'd love to. Anything. He's very good looking. Such a nice smile. Is he tall? Fairly tall. He looks very fit. Does he play a lot of sport? No, he used to. What does he do? Is he a student? He's not really academic. He's clever, but he prefers to do things with his hands. He sounds nice. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Come in, Anne. Good morning. Good morning. Are you feeling better today? Yes, thank you. What's on the agenda? I'm thinking about this trip to the wineries. Mm -hmm. I want to meet your main suppliers and talk to them about the market. Great. <laughs> They've been dying to meet you. Uh, when do you want to go? As soon as possible. How about tomorrow? I can't tomorrow. I've got some other appointments. Uh, what about the day after tomorrow? Uh, yes, that's good. It's Monday today, so that will be Wednesday. What date is that? Uh, the 5th of November. OK. What time shall we meet? I'll pick you up at 9 o'clock. Good. How many wineries do you think we'll be able to see? I'm not sure. Four or five? Uh, definitely our biggest suppliers uh, and maybe a few surprises. Oh, I can't wait. Will it take all day? Most of the day. I'll start ringing now and let them know that we've got a very important client all the way from Singapore. <laughs> Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Medina Hotel Marie speaking. How may I help you? Can I speak to Ms. Ann Lee, please? I'm not sure what room she's in. I'll put you through, sir. Hello? Hello, Ann? This is Steve Parker. Steve Parker? Steve. Sarah's brother. We met... Uh, just oh, Steve. Hello, Steve. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? Oh, working. I'm planning a trip to the wineries later in the week. Oh, when are you going? Uh, Wednesday. Oh, good. What are you doing tomorrow? Um, nothing. Why? Well, I have the day off and I was just wondering. Well, I, I was just wondering whether you want to go to a wildlife park with me. You said you'd like to go to the zoo? That's right, I did. Yes, thank you, Steve. I'd love to go. All right. I'll meet you in the foyer. Ten o'clock? OK, ten. I'll see you then. Great. Uh, good night, Anne. Good night, Steve. Two, please, and a bag of food. There you go. And your tickets. Have a nice day. How much do I owe you? Ah, that's OK. It's my treat. Oh, thank you. I'll buy lunch. Is there somewhere to have lunch? Of course. There's a cafe just over there. What do you want to do first? I really want to hold a koala. Is there a koala here? Yes. It's the most popular animal. We might have to queue though. I don't mind. What else is there? Are there some kangaroos? Of course, there are lots. I've, and birds. I've heard Australian birds are amazing. Don't worry, you'll get to see lots of birds. What should we do first? Well, the kangaroos are just over there, and I think the birds are next. And next... You'll we'll cuddle a koala? Sure. And after that? After that, I'll buy you lunch. It's a deal. Look at this big grey one. He's massive. Mm. He has very, very strong arms and legs. Mm, and a big, strong tail. Yeah, and he is. Very big ears. His fur looks very soft. It feels soft on my hand. He's got beautiful big brown eyes. Oh, look at that.
that little black and white one? Oh, yeah. I think that's a willy wagtail. They're very fast, they move around a lot. It's cute. It's got such a long tail. Yeah. Oh, look at that bird. Oh, that's a kingfisher. Oh, we have them in Singapore. Really? Mm. Look at its beautiful blue back. Very colourful, isn't it? There's lots in Australia, mm. big ones and small ones. We have a very big one called a kookaburra. Oh. Has a very interesting laugh. <laughs> <laughs> So soft and cuddly. Yeah, like me. They've actually also got really sharp claws. See? Oh, he's so cute. Can I take him home? I don't think they'd be very happy about that. Oh, look at that one. What's the matter? Um, nothing. I'm just feeling a bit homesick. Come on. Let's go get something to eat. What would you like? Eh? Um, I'll have a cheese and salad sandwich and a cappuccino, thanks. Do you have wine? No, sir, we don't serve alcohol. We have coffee, tea, soft drinks and juices. Okay. I'd like a orange juice and a pie with chips. Do you have sauce? Just help yourself and I'll bring the food when it's ready. Thank you. Is that good? It's delicious. You should try one. It's real Aussie food. Maybe one day. I don't eat a lot of meat. How's your coffee? Mm, it's very good. Don't you drink coffee? Sometimes. I prefer tea or juice. So, is the koala the best? Oh, definitely. The kangaroos are interesting too. I've never seen real ones before. And the birds are wonderful. I think I like the birds the most. They're so colourful and so many different kinds. What about you? What do you like best? Just being here. Tell me about your life in Singapore. What do you do every day? Well, I work in my father's business importing wines. Mm -hmm. I live with my family. How do you get to work? Do you, do you catch a bus? Usually. Sometimes I go with my father in his car. What about you? What do you do? I'm a builder. I build houses. Mm. How do you get to work? I drive. I have to use my car for work, so I never go by bus. Do you enjoy it, your work? Mostly. It's not easy being a builder. But it's outside. I prefer to work outside. Mm, I never work outside. Occasionally I travel though, like now. And what do you do on the weekends? Mm, sometimes I go shopping. Sometimes I go out. Where do you go? Nightclubs? Mm, not really. Occasionally. Who do you go with? A bunch of friends. Boyfriend? Not at the moment. Did you have a good day? Very much. Yeah. Thank you for taking me. How about you? Of course. Not too boring? You must have been there a hundred times. Oh, not since I was a kid. It was great. Do you like Chinese food? I love Chinese food. I'm going to cook a Chinese meal for you and your family. Really? That'll be great. When? Friday. Fantastic. I'll, I'll see you then. Yes. Bye. Bye. Excuse me. Sorry, Ms. Lee, I didn't see you. Could I have my key, please? Certainly. Here you are. Oh, and there's a message for you.
Dear Ms. Lee, please call my office. I have some news for you. John Barber, private investigator. Have you found my brother? Uh, not, not yet. Uh, no. Uh, not quite. But I have found something. What is it? I went to the university. You said he was a student. I spoke to his professor, the head of the course he studied. And what did he say? Does he know what happened? Well, no, not exactly. Uh, he didn't know where your brother went. But he told me David had left the university. He stopped going to lectures. <laughs> when did he stop? Oh, about a year ago. He didn't tell anyone, but he left a letter with the professor. A letter? Have you got it? Where is it? It... the professor has it. He wouldn't give it to me because it was addressed to you. He left... his... ah... his card. I'll go and see him. Thank you. Oh, I, I found out something else. Yes? Your brother had a girlfriend. Really? He didn't tell me. Who is she? Well, I don't know yet, but I'm sure I can find her. We, we're closing in, Miss Lee. Uh, fear not. Thank you. Hello, dear. How are you? Very well, thank you. Are you sure? Is anything wrong? No, I'm fine. I watched you walking. You walk sadly. <laughs> I'm old. I walk slowly, but you walk sadly. Well, I do have a problem. Not too serious, I hope. I don't know. I hope not. Worrying doesn't help, my dear. Think positively, it helps. Do something. Take action. You'll be all right. I hope so. Thank you. Where are you from, dear? Singapore. You speak English very well. Thank you. Sometimes when people speak very quickly, I can't understand. <laughs> Don't worry. I speak slowly. And I see badly these days. What number bus is that, dear? It's 190. <sighs> At last. It was nice talking to you. You too. Hello? Did this bus go to the university? Yes, miss. How much is that? Single or day trip? Sorry? Are you coming back today? Yes. How long will you be at university? Uh, I'm not sure. An hour, perhaps? A uh, single will do. You can use the same ticket to come back. That's three dollars, please. How far is it? Uh, not far. About four kilometres from here. And how many stops is it? About ten. Thank you. University. This is your stop, miss. Oh, thank you. Where do I catch the bus to go back? Just across the street, over there. How often do the buses come? Every 20 minutes. You won't have to wait long. It's uh, 10.30, the next one's at 10.40, and then 11 o'clock. Thanks. Goodbye. Have a good day. I'm sorry to hear your brother's gone missing, Miss Lee. We're all so worried. I've come to Adelaide to look for him. How long did he study here? Uh, I'm not sure. 
uh, two semesters. Did he get good grades? I'm afraid not. I don't think computer science was the right direction for him. The investigator, Mr. Barber, said you have a letter from David. Ah, of course. It's, um, it's addressed to you. Uh, I told him I'd only give it to you in person. <laughs> 